Last week, one of the most well-known species of the butterfly, you can guess which one it is, was put on the endangered species list. Liam Healy spoke with a local expert on how people in Rochester can help the monarch get back on its feet. The monarch butterfly is best known for its bright colors and its unusual migration habits. There are other butterflies that migrate, but nobody does it as big as monarchs. Anna Simpson is one of the managers at the Dancing Wings Butterfly Garden at the Strong Museum. For her, the addition of the monarch butterfly to the endangered species list didn't come as a shock. I wasn't overly surprised. The monarch population has been facing um, a massive decline for decades now. We've been seeing it drop off, in some cases, just absolutely plummet. A population loss of 75 to 99 percent of the population in some areas. All of this can feel a little bit overwhelming when you hear about all these endangered species. At least in this case, though, there is something you can do at home to help. Even if you just have a little deck at your apartment, you can put a planter out with milkweed. You can plant some flowers in your yard, coneflower, lantana. We have a ton of that here. And that'll help to support monarchs as well as all of our local native pollinators. And if you really want to help, you can join the growing number of monarch way stations, including at the Strong Museum and along the West River Walkway, where one of the newest ones was planted this past spring by the Cornhill Neighbors Association. Reporting in Rochester, Liam Healy, News 8. And for more information on how to register as a Monarch Way station or to help the monarchs, you can visit this story on our website, rochesterfirst.com.